Hi, uh, what I thought we could do today was make a really simple game using MIT Scratch. Uh, this is going to be a really simple game. Hopefully, I'm going to try to make it as short as possible and fit it all in a single video. Now, I haven't done anything to my uh, Scratch program so far. I just said new game and we get our little Scratch cat uh, in the uh, blank window. And right now, there is absolutely nothing. I haven't touched anything. I'm going to make this a simple jump game. So I'm going to title this The Jump Game. And what I like to do with the cat is I like to name the cat Sprite. Uh, I like to name the cat Cat. There we go. We'll name it Cat. Alright. Um, I think our cat needs a background. So let's choose a backdrop. And I was just thinking of a jump game in which a cat is running through a colorful city while buildings, very tiny buildings, run towards him. All right. So what I would like to do is to position the cat right about there. And you can see uh, the position record coordinates. There we go. I like that. And what I would like to have is a building which we could use to, to run towards the cat. So let's look for a new sprite. And here we go. It's called buildings. All right, there we go. Ooh, what I would like is for the cat to jump over that building, but that building is way too large. So I'm going to change the size of the building. Make sure you have the building selected down there and select 25. So right now it's going to be Where'd it go? Oh, yep, there it is. There you go. It just hid perfectly in that existing building. So that's going to be our, our new building. And I'm going to tuck it all the way over there. So let's get to programming. Now that we have our cat and we have our building, what I would like for the building to do is to run down the street towards the cat. It's a video game. It doesn't have to make sense. The first Mario game is about plumbers and turtles and mushrooms. Don't try to think too hard about it. Just imagine the building is running towards the cat. So let's, uh, first we're going to create an event. And the event is going to be when the green check green flag is clicked. In other words, that's the start of the game, the go, the go flag. And we're going to create a control structure that is a forever loop. So this is going to happen forever. And so what I would like for the building to do is to go to this position where it is right now. So what I say is we're going to uh, move to the position. So what I like to do is I like to move the building to its desired position. I like to imagine it right along that dotted line in the middle of the street. And I'm going to set this as negative 80 because I like nice whole numbers. And then I just want it to wait there for a few seconds. And if I go to control and wait, I can have it wait one second. But here, I'm going to make it interesting. I'm going to say, pick a random number instead of one. We're going to add a little bit of randomness here. So we're going to go from two to five seconds. So what I would like for the building to do is to start in that location. I would like for the building to wait there for two to five seconds. And then I want the building to glide. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move the building to the point where I want to glide to. And it's going to glide to that location. There we go. And that looks good. And then I want it to wait there again. And here we can just make that two seconds. So let's start the program and it's the building is going to sit there and wait and it's going to glide towards the cat and it's going to sit there and wait for two seconds and then it's going to return back to the beginning and then it's going to move across the screen again. And that's that we're good. That's actually all I want the building to do. Now let's go and return to the cat. Now cats jump. And how do cats jump? Well, they jump whenever you press the spacebar key. 
So if I go to the events area, I can go when, when the uh, spacebar is pressed, we're going to create our own jump motion and this is going to be glide. So right now the cat is at uh, negative 126, 80, negative 80. I'm going to change that to a zero as well. Negative 80. There we go. All right. Yeah. Just because I like that negative 80 there. And then I want the cat to jump way up in the air. All right. That's a good position. We're going to glide there. And then I want the cat to glide back. Preferably to its 80 position again. All right. Right now I've got it gliding. Let's set it to one, negative 130 just so I can. There we go. And I can glide back to 130. So now whenever I hit the green button. Ooh, look at that jump. I think it's really slow. Let's do 0 0.5. Let's make it glide faster by spending less time in the air. Look at that. If you want to make it faster, make these numbers smaller. So right now we have our cat jumping and we have our building moving. Let's see. Oh, you know, let's see if I can try that again. There we go. I think I got it. I think I got it. This is going to be good. All right. Uh, now, um, I like the uh, position that the, uh, the cat is in. So whenever we say uh, the green button is clicked, we are going to go to the current position. Just negative 13080. I like to have that there so that if you accidentally move the cat later on in the game, that whenever you hit the green button, the cat will automatically return to that location. All right. Next up, we need one more event, and that is going to be from the start of the game, we are going to have a forever loop. A forever loop is going to loop forever. If, this is an if statement, if the cat is touching the building, and so we use sensing, and we use touching. So I'm going to put that touching diamond into the if statement diamond. Right now, if it's touching the mouse pointer, I don't want that. I want the building. What I would like for the cat to do is to turn backwards on its back. And that's going to be a counterclockwise turn. And a counterclockwise turn of 90 degrees. And then I just kind of want to sit there on its back for a second. And then I want it to get back up by turning clockwise. 90 degrees. All right. So we're going to stop our program and we're going to let the uh, the building move. Oh, it got hit by the building, so it turned backwards, but then it got back up. Likewise, oh, it got hit again. All right, now I'm going to hit the space bar this time. Hopefully we can avoid the building. Yay, we avoided the building. There we go. We just created a real simple game from scratch in which the cat has to dodge the building. And if the cat doesn't dodge the building, well, then it falls on its back, but it always gets back up. So it's a really simple game. Um, I think we're done here, and I hope you enjoyed this quick video, and hope to see you again soon.